Hello, Randall Monk and Rhonda Vazane here. Welcome to another Gem of Wisdom from Archangel Michael. Hello, everyone. I hope you're having a good day. Let's try and make it a little better. Yes. We're having a good day, aren't we're we? We're having a really good day. Yes, we are. Okay, here's a Gem of Wisdom. This is a little more information about the Ascension process. We've talked a little bit about that before, and this is a little more information. The ascension goal for humanity within this era of earthly experience is to integrate all of the remaining soul fragments of our individual soul self from within all of the subplanes of the third and fourth dimensions. Um, one of the first in, in Scripture in Your Destiny and in the first couple of books of the we, and I have studied the ancient teachings, and a lot of you have too, and the chakra system, which is, I don't know if it's a Sanskrit word, but anyway, it's a word from one of the ancient languages. But let's just say that we have, when we came in, we went through the seven mm -hmm. planes or the seven planets. I've learned, and uh, of late, we've, we have been reading some of the things from other wonderful channels about our lives and our experiences on Venus and Mars and some, and, and it's absolutely fascinating. And it also gives an understanding of how powerful and complex we are, and even our soul consciousness, mm -hmm. how what we have taken on. It's we are amazing beings, believe me. And <laughs> we're absolutely I mean, any wonder they are in awe of us, of what we've taken on and experienced and now what we're doing in such a short time. And so it is important for you to understand that, yes, we chose. This lifetime was a special lifetime. I've gone through all of that. But they showed us what we had to experience and the major things we had to get through. Yes, we did agree. And it, from up there, it seems like it's a lot easier. Yeah, we couldn't do that, no problem. But, and Michael says we did not know how difficult it would be to stay centered in the material plane or how difficult it would be to have unconditional love. And so they, they understand it. They do understand. That's why we're not judged. That's why the karma, the laws of karma are in place. The laws of karma are the broad spectrum. And the negativity has energies, results, and so on, just as the positive, the dispensations, and the blessings on the other side. They're all outlined. They're not handed out. They are there. They are the universal laws. And so we can't blame God, we can't blame the devil, we can't blame anyone else. It's our dance with our energy, with our with our shadow side and our bright side, our God self. And so that's what the ascension part, that's the ascension process is about balancing and harmonizing those energies and those things that are not within that accepted spectrum of light and shadow. In the material plane, there had to be duality. There had to be polarity. That's what it's about. In the higher realms, it's unity consciousness. The angels aren't separate. They, the masculine and the feminine, they're there, but they are a unity. Our Father, Mother, God, there's a positive and the negative, that Visca Pisces, but they are a unit, a fu perfectly functioning unit. And with us, one of the first things that is important things is to begin to unify the right and left hemispheres of the brain. We even have to, our, our brain is separated. It's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be one unit. The children are coming in with the balanced, ambidextrous. I've even said this about my one great, great granddaughter. She eats, she will eat with both hands. And so they we are unique, and so it's unique circumstances. But first of all, be easy on yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. You are a participant. You aren't a victim. And so first of all, quickly, we have those aspects, those facets we have created within the three lower chakras. They're just like their memory seed atoms out there addictions, anger, fear, shame, feelings of self-worth and being unloved, all of those negative aspects that we outline very well in our material, all of those negative things that are vibrating with that three lower chakra energy, those are the things we're experiencing out in our world. They're out there. 
And so that infinity breath and our power, uh, flower of life, all of that, that energy we have in the flower of life, we send out our infinity breath. If you are resonating at those three, that lowest energy, that's for you, then you're still tapping into some of those. You're either going to love them free or you're going to experience the negativity. What is your choice? But then the magic is when you open the heart chakra, when you come to that mid-level where you are, when I say neutral, neutrality is that you're back in that spectrum of light and shadow. You still, there's negativity here, choices, let's just say bad or not so good, and then better and good and best within that spectrum. But it's come back to that 50% and, 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 and even when you begin 1% positive, then you begin to move in that ascension process. So talking about the pyramids that we did in the last video, as that energy, as you begin to open the seven chakras, balance and harmonize the seven chakras, and that begins to, to spin uh, in harmony, then we activate that rod of power. And that's when the magic starts and when you open your heart chakra. So you are beginning to, uh, working on remaining neutral and doing more positive good, doing harm to no one and also no harm to yourself. Then you begin to tap into those higher levels and it gradually begins to come down so you're accessing more and more of your divinity. And so, like I said, there's knowledge and there's information and there's knowledge and there's wisdom. You, you study, a lot of people study the material and, and they're, they're kind of fascinated and then they put it in the drawer and they forget it. Don't you know there's a reason we have all of the, the routine, the things we, we suggest that you do? You didn't get this way in a short a few years. You have some very deep-seated, you know, like what they say, a groove. You go around long enough and it just gets deeper and deeper and deeper. Well, some of those grooves are pretty deep. And so those three lower chakras, the, the, the magic was, you don't resist them, you love them free. You love them free by doing the breathing exercises and praying so that you can bring in the higher frequencies of light that begin to balance and harmonize them. And then when you begin to access or you begin to listen to your soul self instead of your ego self, you begin to get the whisperings of spirit where it'll say, no, that wasn't a good idea. Or how about this? The subtle things, they can be very subtle, but they get louder. The more you listen, like I say, after a while there, I couldn't hardly move without getting busted because it was coming through so loud and clear. And so how, how is your world? How is your, you know, if you're listening to your body elemental and you're listening to your soul self and you're listening to your own higher wisdom, They'll let you know when you're kind of off track. And everyone is on the fast track to ascension, no matter where they are, what they're doing, because if their fast track is going downwards, it's getting worse. If their fast track is upward, it's moving up very quickly. There is no status quo. You can't hide. You can only go forward. And so that's what we want you to have. That's what we want for you. That's what your angels, that's what our Father and Mother God wants for all of us. It's there. The teachings are there step by step. It's up to you. The gifts have all been given to us. They're always there. They've always been there. Now is the time to accept your divine wisdom, your divinity. Just like Michael has said, when you're in a situation, a job or a relationship that is not, is really bad, it's uncomfortable, you're not through yet, so see the good in it. See the positive in the people and the things and do the best you can. And your higher self will facilitate you getting out of that situation if, that, if it is finished, if it's over. But if you take the high road, you'll get there faster. I know, I went through some pretty bad struggles and so on, and it wasn't pretty. I wished I had known what we know now. And so, my darlings, it is frightening, but please don't move into fear because that diminishes our power. We have all the help we need, but the greatest thing is to stay centered, love yourself, so you can take in the maximum amount of loving energy and share it with the world. That's why you're here. 
whatever else your divine blueprint is, that's primary. We are the ascension. We are those, what we say, leading the ascension. Those of us who are walking that path and kind of leading the way. We're not better. We're not, we, we have just chosen and been chosen to do that. And you have been chosen to. There are each and every one of you, no matter how you feel about yourself, there are people following you who will be aware and be assisted by your example and in your words. Try it. It's magic. Thank you, Rana. Yes, the bottom line with ascension is one thing, really, and that is maintaining a high vibration. So if for some reason you're uh, not, if you're not maintaining a high vibration, if you, and that is uh, feeling joyful, feeling loving, feeling grateful, feeling appreciative, those kinds of things, then embrace those types of things. Uh, uh, feel a love for a neighbor or a, uh, a family member or a friend or yourself, especially yourself, as a matter of fact. Those are all high vibrational feelings, and that's, that's what will raise your vibration and keep you there. And gratitude. Yes, indeed. And, indeed. Definitely gratitude. And forgiveness as well. Yes. Yes. And for yourself as well. That comes back to you again. Oh, we, if, if, we're not, if we're not feeling it with, for ourselves, uh, love, forgiveness, and so forth, appreciation, then we can't, we can't do it for someone else. We have to do it for ourselves first. Can't give away what you don't have. Absolutely. And we have lots of it, so we're giving it to you. We love you. Much love and many blessings from our hearts to yours. Bye-bye. Bye now.